Okay, I just wanted to show you a quick little example on how to do shorthand method for electron configurations. I apologize for the glare on the whiteboard here, but I really wanted to show you a picture of the periodic chart so you could follow the process. Um, well, the shorthand method of um, configurations, what we use is the noble gas and brackets. And why we do that is because if we look at the configurations for these noble gases, well, one of the first ones is helium. Atomic number is two, so it really only has two electrons, and the configuration is 1s2, and that doesn't change. Um, the next uh, noble gas that is listed on the periodic chart is neon. Atomic number is 10, so it has 10 protons and 10 electrons. The configuration of neon is as follows, and as you notice with generally all noble gas configurations, the outermost S and P sublevels are completely filled which is why they have those eight valence electrons and a stable configuration. Um, the next noble gas, which is argon, has 18 electrons. One s two, two s two, two p six, and then the third NH level also has filled outermost s and p sublevels, signifying those eight valence electrons. Now, if I wanted to do the configuration of, let's say, uh, potassium, which is right here on the periodic table, well, to do potassium's configuration, again, I would have to do, since it has an atomic number of 19, I would have to do the entire configuration of argon plus an additional electron. So, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, and then we know that we jump to the 4s to put that last electron in because 4s fills for 3d. Um, so if you look at the similarities between the configurations of argon and potassium, this is the whole configuration of argon, the noble gas. So in order to shorthand the electron configuration, we're going to take this configuration, just make it a little shorter. Um, so for potassium, we're going to use the noble gas that is in its previous row. So here's potassium. The previous row noble gas is argon. So I'm saying argon's configuration plus an additional 4s1. The configuration for magnesium right here. Oh. Atomic number is 12. I'm going to look at the noble gas previous to magnesium period that it's in. and that would be neon. So magnesium's electron configuration is the same as neon's, plus an additional 3s2. So um, shorthand version, just remember to use a noble gas in brackets. You can't use any other element, just noble gases. And then um, continue on with the configuration as follows. Uh, now to do just a few more examples of the abbreviated shorthand version for electron configurations. Um, here's a periodic chart, and here are period numbers. Um, everybody in period one is hydrogen and helium, period two, lithium, beryllium, and so on. So knowing that our noble gases are over here in group 8A, or the 18th column all the way over to the far right, um, we're going to be able to use those noble gases in brackets, and then we add the additional remaining portion of the electron configuration. So for beryllium, it's got four um, protons and four electrons because the atomic number is four. The noble gas that we're going to use for our shorthand version, five beryllium, which is right here. And then the noble gas that is previous to beryllium, beryllium in the um, previous row, so upper row all the way over, is helium. So I'll put helium in brackets and then do an additional 2s with two. Scanium, which is right here, atomic number 21. We want to look at the noble gas that is previous to SC, previous row all the way over, is argon. So we're going to use argon in brackets. And then I have to get to SC, so I am going to be filling the 4S with 2. And then remember, after the 4S fills, the 3D fills, and there's one space over. 
So there's one electron in the d orbital for the 3D. So 4s2 and 3d1. Iodine, shorthand method for iodine. Iodine is all the way over here. Atomic number 53. So I want to look at the noble gas that is previous to iodine. And that is krypton. So krypton is going to go in brackets. And then after krypton, we have 5s filled. Remember, this is the 5s area. 5s fills with 2. And then we go when we fill the 4d with 10 electrons. And then we fill the 5p. Then we stop at iodine, so that would be 5p4. Okay. 